The key to success in calculating atomic weights for use on the periodic table is knowing how to use percents. Percent as the expression percent and percent in the decimal form. Atomic weights for the periodic table are weighted averages. And it's important that you remember this. They are averages that involve both the weight and the frequency of, of occurrence of the various isotopes. So you must use both the weight of each isotope and its percent occurrence when you are figuring the weight that should be recorded on the periodic table that is going to be representative of the average weight of that particular atom. Now, the best way that I know to do it is to show you a sample problem. Let's calculate the atomic weight of the element magnesium if it has these three isotopes. We have magnesium 24, magnesium 25, and magnesium 26. And I want you to notice that the relative weight of each of the isotopes is just a little less, just a hair less, than its atomic mass number. So magnesium 24 has a relative weight of 23.9849. Now notice the percent occurrence. These are talking about the naturally occurring isotopes. We're not talking about any man-made ones. And so when you add these percent occurrences up, they should add up to equal 100. We want to find the atomic weight that should be listed on the periodic table if the magnesium has these three isotopes. We find the sum of the contributions of each isotope to the overall weight. We've got to see how much each one of those isotopes contributes to the whole picture. And this is the way you do it. You take the relative weight, say of magnesium 24, which is 23.9849, and multiply it by its percent occurrence in decimal form. And when you do this, the product of those two numbers gives you the weight that that particular isotope contributes to the average atomic weight. Add to that the 24.9859 from the second isotope times its percent occurrence, done in decimal form, of course, 0.101511, and add to that the third one, which is 25.9827, times its decimal form of the percent, 110509. Take those products, add them up, and you get 24.3073. This, then, is the average weight of the isotope of magnesium, and it is a weighted average. It involves both the weight of each isotope and its frequency of occurrence. It's a weighted average, and this is the weight that we use on the periodic. Now here's an interesting problem. Chlorine has two naturally occurring isotopes, chlorine 35 having a mass of this, and chlorine 37 with a mass of this. What's the percent occurrence of the chlorine 35 isotope? Well, I don't know. So let's assign X as the percent occurrence of the 35 chlorine isotope. Then we can express the occurrence of the chlorine 35 isotope like this. 34.968852 Dubai units, or Daltons, if you will. That comes from the problem itself. Times x, its percent occurrence. We don't know what it is. Plus the atomic weight of the other isotope. And this is also expressed in Daltons, times 100 minus x. Folks, if there are only two isotopes, then one of them is x, the other one must be 100 minus x as far as its percent expression goes. And that has got to give us the weighted average of the isotopes, which is 35.453. Now, where did that come from? That came from the periodic table. Granted, I probably could have looked it up and found a, a more exact average, but this is close enough. And I multiply it by 100 because 100% 100 of the weighted average is going to give me the sum of the other two. Now, quite frankly, 
I could have worked the others out and instead of using 100 minus x, used 1 minus x. And then all of my percentages would have come out in the decimal form. But sometimes students get troubled by that. So I use the 100 so that we would not have to convert it from the decimal form to the percent form. I solved and found x is 75.757%. So it is 75.757% of chlorine-35, and the rest, which is 24 point something percent chlorine-37. Do you get the idea? Brought to you courtesy of the chemistry professor, offering complete chemistry courses on DVD. Join us at our website, www.chemistryprofessor.com.